A bag contains seven pencils, so we have seven pencils and three ball pens. Ronald takes one writing object from this bag and places it in his pocket and then selects another. What's the probability? Now, probability, that means that we need to end up with a fraction. What's the probability that he takes out two pencils? Now, the question is, we're looking for two pencils, so the question is, are we taking both pencils, both pencils at the same time, or are we taking one pencil and then another? So once again, the question is, are we taking both pencils at the same time, or are we taking one and then another? In this case, because he takes one, then places it in his pocket, and then selects another, we're taking one and then another, so we need two fractions. Probably that's going to be a pencil and then a pencil. So we're going in there, and what's the probability that he selects the first pencil? Now, the fact that you're taking one is not going to be one over. How many pencils are available? Seven. And how many writing objects are total? Ten. So you take the pencil and place it in your pocket. What's the probability that the next one is going to be another pencil? How many pencils are left in there? Six. And how many are writing objects? Nine, because you have one in your pocket. And from there, we just multiply. Now remember, it's best to be able to reduce your fractions first. So divide by 3 gives me a 2, it gives me a 3. I can simplify my 10 and my 2. Divide by 2 gives me a 1, it gives me a 5. So it gives me 7 over 15. Or a little less than 50%.